The reason why we care about phosphorus is that in the end, as a state, we have to reduce our phosphorus losses by a fairly appreciable amount. So the goal here is a 45% reduction of our baseline phosphorus losses from the 1980s period. Our state is the number one loser of phosphorus of all of the states in the Mississippi River Basin. That's a problem. When it comes to our nutrient losses, we always distinguish between what's called point source and non-point source. So think of uh, point source as a wastewater treatment plant. You can measure the losses from a single pipe. The other uh, component of our losses are coming from what's called non-point sources, which is the things that we just can't quantify from a discrete location. The challenge is that we oftentimes take non-point sources to be synonymous with agricultural losses. That's incorrect. What we need to do for Illinois is to understand what percent of our phosphorus losses is coming from the erosion of stream banks. Soils naturally have a lot of phosphorus, even without any phosphorus fertilizer going on. So when we erode these stream banks, we are loading phosphorus into our surface waters. Our work over the next four years is deriving exactly that estimate. We selected nine major watersheds, and these nine represent the major landscapes of Illinois. Within each of these different watersheds, we're focusing on streams like this that have evidence of sloughing or bank erosion. We install erosion pins. We slam it horizontally into the side of the bank. And then every six months, we measure the exposed part of the, of the rebar from the last time of measurement. So as you might imagine, as the bank recedes, it exposes more of that rebar pin. So this lets us understand exactly how much bank erosion is going on. Now that's the first part of the puzzle of how much of our phosphorus in the non-point sector is from bank erosion. The other half is measuring exactly how much phosphorus is contained in these eroding stream bank soils. That is done back in the lab. Now together, these provide us with the best evidence-based estimate on exactly how much phosphorus at the state level is coming from bank erosion. What is unique about this project, the first time ever from what we can tell, is that we are taking pains to quantify the total amount and the types of phosphorus in every stream bank soil. What we're doing that is unique is to ensure gold standard quality of our statewide P loss estimates from bank erosion, we are taking soil samples at a certain depth all the way down the bank to make sure that we quantify the exact amount of phosphorus, as well as nitrate by the way, that is entering into streams with the erosion of these banks. These are as far reaching as the Fox River on the border with Wisconsin, all the way down to the lower Kaskaskia, for example. This is intentional. We want to capture every major type of watershed. The reason for that is that if we derive quality field data, like what we're doing here with erosion pins, with the sampling of soils, the quantification of phosphorus, we can then use remote sensing through satellites, aerial imagery from 1930s to upscale, meaning that we can scale up our, our estimates without having to put in erosion pins in every single one of the over 16,000 miles of streams across the state. There are many outcomes of this project. One of them is that we will refine and have a more accurate apportionment of phosphorus sources. This is important because currently we are incorrectly blaming agriculture for bank erosion's contributions of phosphorus. And that's because of a lack of data, which we will solve with this project. The second is to understand the lagginess of phosphorus loss reductions. Remember, we are eroding sediment with phosphorus embedded in the particles, and that kind of phosphorus can release into the water column over time scales of decades to maybe even centuries, is what some evidence suggests. This means that we have to reconsider our timelines on P loss reduction efforts. The careful measurements that we're doing in the lab on the kinds of phosphorus will give us insights into these potential lag times of P drawdown. Two more deliverables from this project. One, 
coming up with a sense of might there be certain ways to target conservation dollars for stabilizing stream banks or thinking about the hydrology of the watershed in a way that reduces bank erosion. The final deliverable that we are designing for this work is coming up with a tool for landowners and SWCDs to monitor and help manage responses to things like shielding of, of stream banks. And we will do this by capitalizing on the fact that the new smartphones have LIDARs on their camera. So we will be calibrating and building an app on a smartphone that will enable the rapid scanning of banks to help landowners have a tool in their disposal to better handle this challenge.